works. Let's bring in a mesh here that we want to uh, do some reverse engineering. I'll just use the default settings and uh, this is our object. As you can see it's more about extrusions so here I will use uh, my cross-section tool and in this example this is, has been pre-aligned I will just uh, probably want to do a sketch and I can draw here I'll just cancel the sketch now as I don't need it because I need to have, get my references so I will select my top plane and we'll go and select cross-section as you can see and as you can learn from the other tutorials the cross-sections gives you a preview of what will be extracted I can probably use my um, arrow to move the section plane and or I can just tweak here and put it to 0 0.5 millimeters to get my data. I'll just press OK and I don't need the mesh anymore we'll just hide it and I need to start now creating my sketch. You can use just the standard uh, SOLIDWORKS tools here to recreate your sketch but uh, what I want to show you what mesh to surface can offer you in order to help you to optimize your work in a more efficient way. So there is a command in the mesh surface menu which is called fit sketch entities. By default this uh, command is only available, I mean it's enabled only if you edit a sketch well, or you create a new one. In this example I started creating my sketch so I can start using this uh, uh, command from mesh to surface. I just click on it and you see there is um, a round circle on the cursor so when you move it just um, moves on the screen. Here is the point to say that because of the graphics issue it's possible that you don't see this circle the reason for this is the graphics engine of SOLIDWORKS that may cause some interference with the um, adding um, drawing. So if you don't see the circle, what you need to do is just use your middle mouse button and you just scroll, zoom in and out. And then you move your mouse and then you'll see this circle. This is just the troubleshooting, so if you experience these problems, just try this. Just use your wheel to zoom in and out a little bit. So what you can do here is by default it's set to the brush selection, which means you can just drag your mouse and by holding your left mouse button, you can just paint on the points. At any point, you can use this um, button, which is called unselect all, to reset your selection. So what is the main idea is that you actually brush over the areas that represent line, arc or circle and then you extract this from the um, scan points. The main idea is that it actually makes a best fit through these points so you get the result which is much better approximates the, the selected points. I'll just do my first exercise holding the left mouse I'll just brush over this point and now I can just click on the line and this will fit line through these points I can repeat this again on this area and I can fit the line you can always just press undo button but please be careful it is this undo it's not the same like the general undo so if you press ctrl z it will just um, cancel this operation so you need to always press this button to make the undo so this is the way you actually can brush a little bit about the options you can change the brush size to 50 for example and you can get this uh, circle much bigger so it really depends on the complexity of your extracted points how big this circle should be but you can adjust also there is an option here when you fit the line, for example here, if the angle between the resulted line and one of the axes X or Y is less than the given tolerance, in this particular example it's one degree, it will actually make it perfectly horizontal or perfectly vertical. This is quite useful because of the design intent when the fitting algorithm extracts this line here, it may not be perfectly 
vertical, so the software will automatically will create this uh, line a vertical for you. So this is what we have now. I extracted these two lines, and I can probably go and paint this and make this an arc. I know this is not a good example, but you may have holes, and you can just create um, circles. I will undo this and uh, we'll start again. To avoid this clicking moving from the screen to the control panel, we have an option which is called Instant Fit. If you turn this Instant Fit, the default um, brush selections is not enabled, which means that once you paint, it automatically will fit the primitive which you have selected. For example, you just click on the line here, and this means that you, when I brush, and when I lift my left mouse button, it automatically will create a line. For example, here, if I am in the arc mode, I can just brush here, and it will fit my arcs. In this way, you can just um, be much more efficient. If, for example, you can just extract these lines here, and uh, you can just uh, paint on them, and they will, this will be extracted, and when you're ready, you can just press OK. When you press OK, the software automatically converts this into entities that SOLIDWORKS understands, and then you can just apply a standard operations here to trim and connect. But I will like to show even more. I will just delete what we have done. Again, we'll go to fit sketch entities. Now it remembers that I'm in instant fit, and I will just brush my line here. We'll brush and create these lines that are constructing our main body. One example here is that this is actually it's not a line, so probably I will want to make it as an arc here. I just brush here and got my arc. Why I didn't extract these? Because these are actually fillets. They're just rounding the corners here. We have two other modes that are really useful. The first one is for the connecting and intersecting two primitives. It works in the same way like the brushing. You just need to hold your left mouse button and move. And once you get over a point, you see that it's highlighted, and it expects that you brush the second one. And once I get the other one, you see that it actually extends them and intersect. This is not limited to uh, line and line only, but it also works on line and arcs. It doesn't work if you have circles. The circles, you need to use the standard uh, SOLIDWORKS tools to intersect. So. I will just demonstrate this brushing here, and I just brush here, and we'll quickly extract this. This is a quick way to create a sharp corners. Again, once you're happy, you can press OK, and this will be accepted as a SOLIDWORKS entity. But this specific example, it's not what I want. I will just need to round these corners. And from this, we have this uh, um, automatic fillet. The way it works, it analyzes the underneath um, points, and this is how it defines the fillet. What I mean with this, it actually finds the best radius, so it can fit the points and creates a fillet, not with the radius we expect, but the one that fits the best. So, if you want, to, for example, to create your fillets with a constant radius, you can use just the standard uh, SOLIDWORKS tools, but for me, I have no idea what is this radius in this moment. I don't have numeric value, so I prefer that I just actually just uh, paint over the over the entities and connect them. As you can see, it works even with the arc and lines between two arcs. So you can experiment this and create your profile. So as you see, this is when we created our closed profile. When I'm happy, I just press OK. It takes a while until it generates the sketch into uh, SOLIDWORKS. As you can see, this is just a default standard um, sketch, which you can actually now you can uh, define your smart dimensions. As you can see here, it's a 559, and you can just make it to 560. 
why I show this is that this is um, just a standard um, features of SOLIDWORKS and you can finish off your work here. I hope this is useful. Thank you for watching.